Hello, Ospreys. I'm Rhett Berenger, and welcome to your Soup Spotlight. Let's get into the news. The European Union is planning to launch a naval mission in the Red Sea within the next three weeks to defend cargo ships against attacks by Houthi rebels in Yemen. The EU's foreign policy chief, Joseph Borrell, says he wants the mission running by February 17th. The Houthi rebels have persistently used drone and missile attacks against commercial ships since the start of the Israel-Hamas war in October. However, Borrell says the EU mission will not be a part of any military strikes. Borrell said, quote, this is, a, this is the purpose, protection of the ships, intercepting of the attacks against the ships, not participating in any kinds of actions against the Houthis. President Joe Biden is planned to visit the eastern Ohio community that was devastated by a train derailment that led to the release of toxic chemicals. These chemicals displaced thousands of residents and left many with health complications. Biden is set to visit the Ohio town of East Palestine in February, a year after the derailment. Residents are still suspicious about the continued possible health risks from the chemicals that spilled. A date for the president's travel was not given from the anonymous source due to the lack of a formal announcement of Biden's plans. The CEOs of Meta, TikTok, and X, formerly known as Twitter, alongside other social media companies, are testifying on Wednesday before the Senate Judiciary Committee about child exploitation on their platforms. Saman Qureshi, the co-chair of Design It For Us, a youth-led coalition for advocating for social media, discussed the situation saying, quote, We understand that they are companies and have to make profit, but when you're faced with really important safety and privacy decisions, the revenue in the bottom line should not be the first factor that these companies are considering. Well, Ospreys, this has been your, been your swoop spotlight. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.